It has always been a part of life in the British Isles. From Roman times unto present day, no king or emperor has called this realm his own. Five kings now stand ready to do battle over these lands. They will make Britannia theirs, or die in the attempt. scourge that breaks out wherever different faiths meet. Being the last of the pagan kingdoms, Lithuania faces a bloody destiny. Hunted by the Teutonic Knights, they must give up their false gods, or they must risk giving up their lives instead in an ungodly war. It was no stranger to the people of the New World. Blood and death were always a part of life in these heathen lands. But when the Old World arrived from across the seas, it would clash with the New in a war that would forever change the Americas. Is no stranger to men of faith, who are driven to fight with a fury no king or sultan can inspire. From across the sands and the seas, they fight for the holy lands, to ensure the hell that is their lives will grant their passage into heaven.
land of Emerald Isles, a land of kings, a land of war. England. King Henry sits upon a hungry throne, thirsty for more land. The Norwegians. Warriors happy to pay the blood price for their ambitions. Scotland. From the highlands and across the lowlands comes a spirited people ready for battle. Wales. A people of song and sword, and leaders that will bend their knees to no man. And Ireland. Suspicious of his neighbors, the Irish warrior never sleeps, though he dreams of conquest. Britannia. One realm. Five kings. Total war. Speak of the new world and men dream of riches, glory and conquest. This land is home to the fearsome and decadent Aztecs, a people who appease their great sun god with hearts torn from the chests of their enemies. And enemies the Aztecs have are plenty. To the east on the Yucatan Peninsula, the Mayans, a majestic people with an epic history, dream of restoring their once great empire to its former glory. North, beyond the jungles, roam the Apachean tribes, skilled hunters who follow the great herds across the plains, and fearsome warriors who are quick to learn the ways of their enemies. A new enemy sails on the horizon, bearing steel and marching under the Holy Cross. To Spain, the New World is a land of hope, a land where the Holy Word is delivered on the end of a sword. A land where empires are born. A land of total war. The Holy Lands, Outremer. A land of faith. A land of war. Byzantium, the majestic gateway to the East and the Crusades. The Principality of Antioch, a proud crusader state and home to the Hospitallers. <laughs> Jerusalem, the Holy City, a kingdom forged by blood, steel and faith. A place revered by the faithful and coveted by many. In the east, the mighty Saluks, led by Nur ed-Din, fighting to drive the accursed Crusaders into the sea. And to the south rises the cunning Salah al-Din, builder of an empire. An empire ready to grind the Crusaders into the desert sands. This is a time of faith. A time of battle. A time of total war. The brooding forests of the Baltic, home to the old gods, now home to war. The ruthless knights of the Teutonic Order, who came to deal with pagan Lithuania at Poland's request, now carve a bloody swathe across the land. Lithuanian pagans fight with grim determination, yet the path of the Holy Cross may be inevitable. Surrounding this bloody conflict, sleeping giants begin to stir. Novgorod, a powerful republic, jealously guarding its freedom and trade. The mighty Danes, renowned as seafarers and warriors, willing to back their ambitions with brute force. And of course Poland, a proud kingdom, once allied to the Teutonic Knights, now battered and regretful, must face the demons it unleashed. Am 
ambition, greed, faith, total war.